Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. So today we have Burial's Gang of Blades, courtesy of my man Glass Cans Bottles Re Beer Reviews. Um, if you haven't seen their videos, he and I traded some beers, and this is one of them that he sent me. Um, the more I look at the label, the more I, I may have had this, but I cannot remember. I think I had it in a share, so I just had like a little bit of it. But I, the, the label looks really familiar. Um, not the best lighting, but it also looks like metal. <laughs> got skulls and stuff um so again burial gang of blades it's a double ipa uh, i think it said it's uh 80 ibus and i think it's 8.3 percent abv and uh if i did have it at a shared i don't remember it and that's a tough thing with shared you try so many different ones and then you get you know typically pretty small pores depending on how many people are there so it is sometimes hard to keep things straight but i'm pretty excited to try this i had their uh, collab with interboro for the run the jewels beer and uh, it got me really excited to try this one. Um, so you get that in frame. It's a nice color. I think it said it has wheat in it. Uh, yeah, right. Didn't it say brewed with hops? Uh, da, 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 da. Instead of watching me read the key, yeah, here, here, barley and wheat. So it does kind of have like a, a half, half of bison, half like. Um, like a darker orange almost like honey color uh, about two fingers ahead just looks yeah really nice uh, let's get into the aroma a lot of fruit <sighs> fairly sweet like so you got like sweet pineapple orange mango so definitely the tropical side of fruit um i didn't look anything up just read the side of the can um i don't know if this i mean 80 ibus so i don't know how like if it's pretty bitter or not or if the malt you know really balances that out or what um but it smells super sweet and tropical uh relatively hazy so it might be in that new england style i, I don't know uh cheers let's find out Wow. Okay. So you definitely get some of those tropical fruit flavors. Um, pineapple, mango for sure. Uh, definitely some citrus, some pith. You do get a decent amount of bitterness. Um, uh, what's the, um, it has a little bit of apricot in it. Um, it doesn't remind me of Ithaca's apricot wheat, but um, with that apricot taste and then this having some wheat in it, um it, it does have uh, a slight rem uh like a remnants of that um but then with the, with the ipa punch and then the like i said the mango pineapple as well in there a lot of really good wow really good fruit flavors in this um slight like bubble gum super slight of that as well um definitely enough bitterness uh and i've said this a lot in reviews to let me know this is a beer it's not just straight juice um it does have enough of that nice bitterness that i know i'm drinking a fruity beer uh again it's that tropical fruitiness um uh, but this is uh a two for two for uh burial um wow this is just really let me get another swig see if i get anything else A little bit of like tart berry, like blueberry in there as well. Yeah, just super good beer. Um, I don't know. It, it's uh, I don't know if I could crush them. Like I, I kind of want to just keep sipping it. Uh, uh, some of these IPAs, you know, I mean, they just go down like super easy. And this one kind of almost like demands your attention. Like, nope, like take your time with me. Um, and that's a good thing. It's, there's nothing wrong with either of those. Depends what you're in the mood for. And, you know, it's a little later in the evening, so I don't mind having a sipper. I'm just kind of relaxing for the, the rest of the night. Uh, so thanks again for setting this. I uh, really appreciate it. Obviously, I'll put a link to his channel. Uh, he's a great dude. Awesome beer reviews. Just good person all around. And uh, continue with a good beer. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, imbibe. Cheers. Thanks.